Now hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another Swiss 001 video. Now guess what plane we are in right now? Of course, this is the F Auker 50. Yeah, we all know that the name of this aircraft manufacturer, F. Anker, is actually not pronounced F. Anker, um, but you know, the actual pronunciation of this aircraft manufacturer sounds very similar to another English word that starts with F and ends with R, and we're not gonna risk getting this video demonetized, right? So we're just gonna say F. Anker, right? See, F. Anker was a Dutch aircraft manufacturer. It was founded in 1912, and, um, you know, it came to an end in 1996 so it's not a thing anymore but the plane that they made still are like the um f 50. Yeah, this one came out in 1985, but still, it is a thing. There are still around 100 flying around, very interestingly enough. Or maybe a little bit less than 100, but, you know, it's still a lot. And, uh, yeah, it was produced until the very end of F. Auker, 1996, again. Now, over 200 were actually built, so, you know, there were a lot of them flying around. They were flying around all across the planet. Again, they are still. For example, Caleb also used them until 2010. I guess as a city hopper as you can tell this is a perfect regional plane but it was also used by airlines like uh, NA, I don't know SAS or Ethiopian or yeah Africa and South Asia that's where you can also see them a lot for example we are back at Denpanza airport or something yeah the airport of the Bali island in Southeast Asia here you can also see this plane flying around, especially, again, hopping around smaller airports on uh, smaller routes, especially short routes. Let's go ahead and get this plane taken off, though, because, you know, the flying part is the more important part. There we go. We've taken off successfully. Put the gear up. That landing gear looks very interesting. Let's watch that again. Wow, looks uh, interesting indeed but uh, also very complicated, which may be an issue later on, but we're gonna talk about that in a few minutes, right? Um, now, this is a very highly realistic aircraft here in the flight simulator. We can do anything, really. I think this was not a smart idea to turn off the batteries. There we go, they're back up. <laughs> we can also use this handle. I have no idea what it does. Oh, did we open something? Oh, no, that, that, oh, I did not intend to open the door. Okay, that is not particularly realistic. I do not think that you can open the doors in mid-flight, but all right, um, all right, let's just leave this open then for this flight. Yeah, here we have the cabin of the F-50. Yeah, we're just gonna call this F-50 from now on because, uh, because that is a bit easier for the YouTube monetization. As you can tell, this is, a, again, an incredibly realistic aircraft. Everything works, literally even the tray tables or the armrests. I have no idea how my computer handles all of this, but it does work. Even the uh, flight attendant call button works just fine and the lights, all that. That is so interesting. But as you can tell, this is a, you know, medium-sized aircraft cabin. Nothing too special for a regional plane, but it is a useful plane after all. Yeah, not too spacious, I guess, but this is a usable cabin, which is why this plane is probably still used all around the world, right? Um, now we've flown in circles. I think the door has genuinely affected the aerodynamics of this aircraft. Actually, a plane flies quite well with a door open still. That is uh, quite an interesting fact, isn't it? But let's go ahead and get this plane landed first. There we go. Let's get the flaps down and the landing gear down as well. That is perfectly working. The le left main landing gear is already starting to show up. Oh, no, not again. All right, welcome to, uh, I guess, uh, an issue that we've seen before on the F-50. We have to land without the right main landing gear now. That is no problem. We're just going to do that. You know, just a routine landing. Let's put the right engine out. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this plane landed. All right. Not a very smooth landing, but this has to be done. There we go. We have touched down on all the sides of this aircraft. Let's go ahead and get this plane stopped, which, uh, which we have. That went quite well. <laughs> go ahead and turn off that left engine as well and get all the passengers out of the aircraft. This worked uh, quite well, didn't it? There we go. All doors are opened. I mean, you know, the front right door was already opened, so yeah. Not much has changed. Quite a nice landing. Now, as I've already said, I turned off the right engine for a reason, actually. Because, obviously, the right main landing gear was missing. And the thing is, when that is missing, we're obviously going to touch down on the engine itself. You know, we obviously don't want to have this propeller spinning while we actually touch down on it, while it impacts the ground. We don't want that happening. Because that is actually quite a dangerous thing. We've already had that before in uh, several turboprop planes, like the Q400 and even this one, I think, where the propeller impacted the ground while it was spinning and then actually impacted the cabin as well and injured passengers. But there we go. This was a perfectly fine landing. Oh, 
Now this is a real life landing now of the F-50. Also a crash landing somewhere in Somalia. I guess that plane is used a lot in Africa. And uh, you know, as you can see, uh, didn't have a good day there. Now something that's happened here as well was that the right main landing gear just did not come out. Actually, this is an interesting case here as well, because especially, you know, that is a landing on an unpaved runway there. Now, what the pilots obviously have done as well is turn off the engines before actually impacting the ground. But still, the propeller here, the, the tips here, they did t take damage, which is uh, not good at all. But, you know, whatever. The plane came to a safe stop. Definitely no one has died on this flight, so all is good, right? Yeah, as you can tell though, this plane is quite tough. It can land on dirt runways, which is not very common. Uh, here we have another case, a nose landing gear failure. Also somewhere in Southeast Asia, I guess that's the Malaysian flags. Yeah, nose landing gear has not come out properly. Oh, <laughs> something has gone very much wrong here. Jesus Christ. And uh, what the hell? Oh, this is probably another case, a runway excursion. You know, the F-50, it does like to come off the runway quite quickly. <laughs> oh no. Well, that's actually quite a sad sight, though, we we have to say that. And here we have another interesting landing without landing gear at all. Maybe we can simulate that later on. Oh, yeah, here we have the F-50's cousin or something. This is the Bombardier Q400, a, but, you know, it's a Canadian plane. That one even has more issues than the F-50 with its landing gear. Honestly, the F-50 was not that bad, though. Okay, here's something that uh, I've talked about earlier. When the propeller actually gets, you know, damaged by an impact or something and breaks apart, it can easily break into the cabin and, uh, you know, damage it, which has happened here. Luckily, there were no injuries here um you know this is actually this can be fatal a propeller is nothing to mess around with all right here we have another nose landing gear failure of a flying plane oh no i've said it again f ocker right so uh yeah that is the landing gear issues of the f-50 by f ocker all right now welcome to the caribbean now now see these turboprop planes they have one special thing about them and it's actually their quite nice performance these are very high performance aircraft obviously and they can stop on very very short runways and take off from them even. Which is, uh, you know, again, uh, quite a special thing of the trouble prop planes. You know, they tend to be a bit slower than the jets while carrying the same amount of passengers, right? Oh, oh, oh no. Which means I can bring more passengers to small remote locations like this Caribbean island down here. Obviously, we're talking about the infamous island of St. Barthélemy. Let's go ahead and get this plane landed down here on this very short runway and see if we can stop successfully or something. I'm not very convinced, but we're, we're just going to try this anyway. All right, there we go. Now this time around, all the landing gear components are working, as you can tell. So no worries at all. We're just going to have to care about stopping this plane successfully. Oh, wow, that was not a good landing at all. <laughs> but let's just see if we can stop, which is the more important part. There we go. Oh, now let's use all the braking power that this plane has. There we go. And we are stopping nicely in the F Ocker F. 50. Now, as I've already said, this plane, it can carry quite a few passengers, uh, 60, actually. As a cargo plane, it can uh, carry up to 7 tons of cargo, which is... Oh, we've just impacted the tail there, which is uh, very impressive. Now, I don't know what uh, KLM does in the Caribbean. I mean, you know, these are actually... Aren't these Dutch Island? Uh, but we were uh, visiting Bali with this plane as well earlier, so, you know, you know, KLM is just flying around. Obviously, this was a very bad landing, which I, of course, intentionally initiated initiated because I wanted to stop as quickly as possible and that's obviously a very nice tragedy to do that. All right, that was definitely a crash landing there. But we've we've stopped. So that's all good. Now, uh, coming back to the safety issues of this plane. This plane, well, it kind of does sound like a very unsafe and unreliable plane, but it isn't that at all. See the Fokker 50? It is a very reliable plane, a very safe plane. Actually, of the over 200 planes that were built, only 15 were destroyed. And you know, saying destroyed also counts in where, you know, pilots <laughs> just veered this plane off the runway. So this a plane is genuinely quite safe. That is definitely no problem at all. But, you know, it's landing gear. It is pretty complicated and sometimes incidents can happen. And uh, so it does with the F Ocker 50 as well. All right. Now let's actually land without landing gear at all while maintaining the engines at running mode. The warning sounds of this plane, they I don't like them. 
This I, I do like this plane quite a bit, but I do not like its sounds at all. All right, hard landing, which is unfortunate because, uh, well, <laughs> we have no landing gear to actually land on. We landed straight on the belly of the Zerg craft. Interestingly enough, we can still hear sounds of the engines, but as you can tell, obviously, they are running not that well anymore, are they? All right, time to evacuate. I mean, we, we've talked about this a few days ago. Sometimes pilots, they do actually tend to forget to put down landing gears. It's happened before, but uh, more in that video, definitely. All right, um, very successful crash there. And so, yeah, that all makes this plane perfect for usage in, uh, you know, tougher countries, right? You know, conditions where other planes could not operate that well, right? All right, let's get this plane landed again. Everything seems to be working just fine, actually. But what I do know is that the nose landing gear does not work properly. But we're going to see that in a second. All right, T, let's go ahead. Oh, yeah. All right, this plane, it is actually uh, quite a hard lander. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, it does touch down very, very heavily, and, um, well, we have, uh, we've lost our nose landing gear. Not again, please. All right, uh, now it's balanced. <laughs> we just put down the main landing gear as well. That, that was, uh, pretty good, huh? Oh, this plane did not like this at all. Oh, wow. Literally everything has stopped working. We have definitely completely destroyed this plane, haven't we? All right. But yeah, that is on the F-50. I just wanted to talk about this plane a little bit more, because I, honestly, I have never really have... So I think it was definitely time for that. So yeah, that is the F-50 for you. So uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.